God is a person. The one that is, is a person, and I'm alive in it. Matthew claims that the one is a person. Which one? The one that is that that it is, is a person. And all that there is, is in him, of course, and all that there is, is his. Note, note that 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 isn't, isn't, so we don't have to think about it, because it's rather murky, it can be quite quirky, so let's just say that that's that. I is. That's the answer to this quiz. Though just what it means ain't so obvious. You see, we're all part of that being that is all and everything, which is a person in the sense that it's a being, and a being in this sense is, is an I, is a self, is a person. There are some though who say that God isn't in the creation, so he simply created it. But it's just a hop, skip and jump between kingdoms, particularly from God on down. That's why they say she meets us halfway. She, he's reaching out to us. Buddy God. So who is this person, Jesus, Krishna? And is he going to sit down with us and have a natta? And does it matter? Because you know, the Buddha was one with the cosmic mind. And he said, leave all of this behind. There's bliss inside this heart of mine. And grace is for the taking.